Hi folks, this is Chris Slogar. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you can find me online at BuckeyeInklings.com. I post all of my ideas there and there is also a link to the online store where you can find any of the great Stampin' Up! products that you see used in my videos. Um, Stampin' Up! stuff is so easy to use. It's all color coordinated, the cardstock, the ribbon, everything. Uh, very good quality stuff, so I encourage you to check that out, and I would also appreciate your support. So let's get to the card. Today I have a pop-up slider card, and as you pull the tag, a panel opens, and it reveals the message. You are terrific. So this is based on the set we have in our occasions catalog called A Nice Cuppa, and there are framelits that coordinate with it. Uh, I believe the framelits are called Cups and Kettle Framelits. Uh, so it makes a really nice set, really, really fun stuff. Um, so we've used some stamps and framelits on this card. And again, it's a pop-up slider. Oftentimes you see the slider where there's an image here that's the focal point and it pulls up and it stands up. But in this case, I love this idea. I saw um, online Catherine Carroll had a similar um, pop-up slider card, so I um, wanted to case that and came up with this. Um, I'm using birthday bouquet paper and the colors Watermelon Wonder, uh, Mossy Meadow, and Blushing Bride. So let's get started. Of course, the hardest part of a card like this is cutting the um, panel, but you should not let that scare you off. Once you're through that a couple of times, it really becomes easy. Um, we're starting with a piece of Watermelon Wonder that measures three and three quarter inches by five and a half. And what we're going to do is um, we need to cut these two vertical um, openings for the panel first. And I'm going to just put the cardstock on my trimmer with the left edge at three quarter inches because that that first line is three quarters of an inch in and we are going to start cutting at three quarters I'm just setting my trimming blade right at three quarters and I'm going to come all the way down to four and a quarter and stop and then I'm going to slide over to um, three inches on the trimmer, I'm going to put the, the left edge at three inches, and again, I'm going to cut three quarters to four and a quarter. And you really can't use the rotary blade. You need this blade um, so that you can start and stop at precise places. Okay, so we have those two vertical lines that you see here. So next, we're going to um, turn the card and we have a mix of cutting and scoring to do in the other direction. So we're setting this first left edge again at three quarter inches and we are going to score from three quarters down to three. So that is from the first line that we just, well the, the second line that we cut to the first line that we cut the way I've turned it. Okay, so we're just scoring that. Then we're going to move over an inch and a half, which puts our left edge at two and a quarter, and we're going to score there. Okay, and we're moving over another inch and a half, which puts our left edge at three and three quarters, and scoring there. Okay, now the last line is going to be a cut, and that is at four and a quarter inches. We've moved over just a half inch now, and this time we're bringing the cutting blade back in, and I'll do it from top to bottom, from three quarters to three in this case. And that's the hard part. You've got that, that window panel cut for your card. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I want to um, stamp these hearts, um, the little heart-shaped steam from a nice cuppa all over. And let's see, I'm just kind of going here, here. And 
good. All right, and then we can um, force our, our folds here where we want them and burnish them. Okay, so that is going to be our um, slider panel. All right, so what we're going to do now, uh, let me grab my, I'm using a one and a quarter inch circle punch. Um, the size isn't that critical. Uh, and I'm, I'm punching a little bit less than a half circle up at the top of the card so that I'll be able to easily grab the um, slider tag. And then I'm going to match that up. This is a card base. This is the Thick Whisper White measures five and a half by eight and a half, and it's already scored um, uh, to make an A2 card size at four and a quarter. And I am actually going to locate my Watermelon Wonder panel all the way over to the right side um, so that I have room for this little decoration that I did. And I am just going to match up that circle punch and punch out um, a matching hole in the card base because that will make this tag very easy to to grab and pull. Okay, now once we have that, um, I'm going to make the tag piece. Uh, here it is. And the tag um, starts as a piece of Whisper White cardstock, two and three quarter inches by four and one eighth. And I'm going to grab the um, Curvy Corner Trio Punch. This is held over from the Holiday Catalog. And the first punch I'm going to make, it's going to be easier to make this punch first um, because I can use the guides um, for the, the width of the tag a little more easily if I do this one first. Once these corners become rounded, they don't fit the guides very well. So I'm just kind of centering that and punching that. And with this punch, um, it took a while to get used to it. You don't want to punch on the, you don't want to just push one corner based on what, you're, what shape you're punching. You want to punch every time um, by pushing the center of the punch. So you'll see I'm going to turn to do um, the corner here. And I'm not going to punch just that corner. I'm going to punch the center of the punch. That's what you need to do to um, get this punch to work. And it is an awesome punch. Okay, so we've made the um, top of our tag now, and that will be our, our pool piece for the slider. And then I have, this is just um, scrap paper. It was um, some printed paper that I didn't need anymore. I just cut um, copy paper down to one half inch by seven inches, and I'm going to make a sleeve around this tag not terribly tight. Uh, we want it to be able to slide pretty easily within within the um, sleeve that we make. So I'm going to do that and just lock that down. Okay, and then that sleeve we're going to put in place. Um, I'm going to use start using the um, sticky strip or the, the tear and tape, I should say, now to um, get a little little firmer bond since this, these pieces will um, have some motion with them. But I'm going to um, center that sleeve over our panel opening and just put the bottom of it along the fold that we have there and push it in place and nip out any of the sleeve that shows there again with the one and a quarter inch circle punch. Okay, and then we're also going to put the um, tear and tape around the outside of the Watermelon Wonder piece. Keep it close to the edge because we do want this slider tag piece to have plenty of room. It's going to be traveling in this location. Uh, we don't want it to get hung up on the tape. And uh, we also need a piece along the narrow width of this um, panel, the, the slider panel. Okay. And then the first thing we're going to attach is um, the tag. We're going to slide the tag. I'm calling it a tag. It looks like a tag. It's the slider piece that we made. 
Uh, we want this through the sleeve. It will be wider than the watermelon piece and we want to bring the bottom down. It will be centered over the opening and the bottom edge should match the bottom edge of the watermelon pool piece, the, the panel that slides open. Okay, so we have that. And now the mechanism is made so you I think can see how this will come together. I'm just going to remove this tape now, the backing. And then here's my card. I have not stamped this message will be on the card base. I like to have this in place so that I can see where I want that message. So I did not stamp that ahead of time. I just have my card base with the little hole that we punched. Um, I'm going to line up this edge because I'm using the full height of the card and so this panel will fit the full height. Okay, and stick that down and as you see we have our mechanism now. So, keeping in mind that we are going to have a teapot here. I've pre-cut these with the um, cups and kettle framelit. Teapot's going to be somewhere about there. And I'm just going to add my greeting, which is you are terrific, within that area. with the mossy meadow. I'm also, while I've got the mossy meadow open, going to stamp a heart on my teapot. Be really cute. And I've also got the little um, the little heart from this set that I'll just oops, a little eraser crumb there. I will just um, also add by the greeting. Okay, so we are going to close that now. And the um, the way I have the slider position, the teapot fits pretty nicely here and the lid of the tea kettle will sit just above this fold. And I am going to put that on a portion of a dimensional The whole dimensional is a little large for this. And I think I'm going to put the teapot down first. Being careful to only put the dimensionals on the lower half of the teapot so they don't interfere with that window. Um, I'm going to put this in place so that the lid can be just above the fold here and that works out nicely and there we have it. Now you can see I have added um, a little little tag here that's like a little tea bag tag or maybe that is supposed to be the tea bag. Anyway I've used it as a little tag here I've added that. I've added half a metallic doily. Um, I have strips of these pretty prints from Birthday Bouquet. I'm not going to get into that and take the time to trim this up now, but you see I've just I've just pulled um, some scraps from from my designer paper and also um, we talked about the Blushing Bride ribbon. Um, on the inside, to make it a little more interesting, since that was just a white um, panel on the inside, I've added a rectangle of Blushing Bride, uh, which measures four by five and a quarter, and then an additional piece of Whisper White, uh, three and three quarters by five. Yes, five. So um, then I added also a little more of the um, designer paper scrap. These little touches, this is only 3 8 inch wide. 
I think that just makes the card, you know, really special, and um, it's nice that everything coordinates from the front to the inside. So don't forget to use those little scraps how you can. And yeah, I'd say that I'd say that's it. We didn't finish that up, but you can see you'd just be adding the trimmings here at this point. And there you have your pop-up slider card. So thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good day.